River is going to be kind of the framing story of today's vlog. Uh, so today is another one of those unreasonably warm fall days. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a gorgeous day, slightly overcast. I think I got some fairly decent time lapses, which maybe you've already seen. And uh, you know, it's, it's nice. It's nice to be outside today. A few days ago, I marched in a parade in Haverhill, Massachusetts, where I belong to the local uh, Freemasons Lodge there, one of them anyway, and um, you know, I'm going to show you some clips of that. tried to look for a place that's slightly less windy. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I succeeded, but anyway, here we go. The Merrimack River is the reason why places like Lowell exist uh, in this part of the world. It has been uh, an area where humans have settled for uh, many hundreds of years, uh, and starting with the Penacook tribe uh, of, of Native Americans who lived here, all the way through the uh, Industrial Revolution, and, uh, and right on through. The, um, in the 80s there was a documentary made of Lowell uh, called High on Crack Street. I think it's on YouTube. If I find it I'll link it if I think about it. Don't do drugs kids, stay in school. But anyway I've been thinking a lot about the Inquisition lately. I've been reading about the Cathars and about the Knights Templar lately and that, that whole period of history which is um, very interesting and bloody and disturbing all at the same time. And uh, Even here in the part of New England where I live, uh, and the the way that the Christian uh, immigrants to the United States uh, treated the indigenous population as a group of people who needed to be saved from themselves, essentially. The, the, uh, the natives here would be better off if they converted to Christianity and away from their heathenry and whatnot. I gave up on the outside and I'm in my car. <laughs> I'm doing some time lapses right here. It's one camera and I've got a my GoPro out on the fence in front of me here and uh, I'm gonna get some interesting shots out of that. Anyway, uh, I love Lowell. I lived there for eight years. It's a fantastic city. Um, it's it, They focus a lot on the arts. Um, it, they've really turned around in the last, you know, 20, 30, 40 years or so, really brought things back around, brought the arts into the city, and, uh, and, and they really need all the credit for that because it's fantastic. It's a great place to be as an artist. And the early European colonizers to this area 
uh, felt very strongly about converting the local native population to Christianity. And I've been thinking a lot about that and about the Inquisition lately. I've been reading Andrew Philip Smith's book about the new book about the Cathars and how the Inquisition was essentially founded to root out the Cathar heresy because they thought a little bit differently than the dominant political power at the time, which was the Church of Rome. Of course, the Inquisition was created to wipe out the Cathar heresy in southern France, and uh, the Roman Church has to take that into account in their own history as well. Uh, I, I, I'm glad that we live in a time that is more tolerant. I'm glad that uh, there's nobody nobody in a, in a position of, of power who is screaming to uh, root out all of the heretics these days because, you know, I'd be on that list. Um, even though I believe that heresy is in the eye of the beholder. It's difficult to be a person on Facebook these days. Uh, in the United States in an election year where all kinds of interesting opinions uh, make themselves known that uh, maybe they weren't part of the part of the dialogue before before this uh, election cycle it's pretty troubling I'm glad I belong to a religious tradition that doesn't say we are the 100% most correct religion and those people who don't believe exactly as we believe uh, are eternally damned or need to be forcibly converted or worse. I don't want to get too political, uh, but I'm just surprised uh, to see so many of my fellow human beings who are who have strong opinions about things that go against what I would consider to be basic human decency, but um, I don't know. The demiurge, right? That's what we do. We get caught up in our own little silos of existence and we fail to look look beyond and to to have empathy for others is very hard I understand that but I believe that that is that's really the only thing that we really should be working on here on earth in the limited time that we have just you know in the words of Will Wheaton don't be a dick I think everybody can recognize when they're being a dick, even if they think they're being a dick for good reasons. Just, you know, let's not. Let's not. Let's do better, everybody. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Not as good as last week's. Apparently everybody loved last week's, but uh, four weeks in a row. I'm pretty excited. See you next week. Thank you.